brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. Dishonor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Hey man, these people are as wicked as hell that walks among you. And you're talking about God loves them. Show me that in the Bible, man. Show us that in the Bible. That God loves these people that shed blood for sport, man. They come out with a new gun, they give it to the police officers to go kill some Negroes, man. You see how it works. See how that new Glock takes test out. And what they do to that man in that hotel? That man was doing exactly what that officer told him to do, and that officer still sprayed him down, man. Go ahead, Ock. This is Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Bring it out! The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who, who is he? Hey, so can I ask y'all a question? Who rules the earth? Nike hat. You. Who rules the earth? We do. Who is we? You right about that. <laughs> I don't think no. no. Show me where I rule the world. Show me where I have any benefits of ruling the world. The no. We here as servants, man. You know that. You know better than that. Come on, man. Don't do that. You know better than that. Y'all try to act like y'all try to come up with this false philosophy of we're all equal. But let a white man get pulled over and then let a black or Hispanic man get pulled over. Oh. There goes your equal rights, man. Bring it out. There goes your equal rights. Y'all have no idea. We know what the Jim Crow laws is about now, man. We know what the Willie Land. We can read again. Come on now. Hey, that's a funny statement. We can read again. Let's go. This is Job 9 and 24. Bring it up. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges. They're up. So it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who is the judge of the earth? Do y'all little brothers know? Uh, get first Maccabees 3 and 48. Do y'all know who the judges is according to the earth? Who judges the world? Huh? God. It says that wicked people, it says the wicked covered the faces of them. That means he they made them a different identity. Right? So let's go to first Maccabees and see where they first started doing this. This is first Maccabees 3 verse 48. Bring it out! And laid open the book of the law. Right, so they laid open the book of the law. They laid open the Bible. They did thorough research on the Bible and said, these people are Negroes. We have to change the faces. We have to make ourselves superior. And that's what we are here doing. We are here telling us, no, these people are us. We are the superior people on earth. We rule entertainment. We rule everything. Man. And we rule back then also, man. If you want to rule again, man, you got to come back to the law, statutes, commandments, man. You can't be no damn nigga out here thinking you a damn gangster. But then the police pull up on you, these niggas running. Bro, they running. Bro, it be a whole fleet of them, 10 of them, one officer. Come on, let me speak to you. They scatter like roaches, man. Why? Come on, man. You ain't no damn gangster. Go ahead, though. And laid open the book of the law, right. wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Right. It says that they sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's why you got it. Jesus Christ looking like these dudes right here. Well, we know damn well they did what Jesus Christ looked like. You too. Hey, look at this. Is this correct or not? Is this correct or not? Is Jesus? Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we getting somewhere. You see that? You hear that? I do. They telling you the people who painted it that color. They're coming in 2021. They're saying he's not this color. So the next question I ask them is. Why is he painted that color? Imagery. But why? To get the people of that color to believe in that. Exactly, man. And to get to make us, people like us, to believe that y'all are a superior race. Well, we know damn well y'all ain't the superior race. Yeah. We know damn well y'all ain't the superior race, man. No, no, that's not factual. You got to prove that. Okay, that's cool. My babies, my grandbabies are mixed. I love them. Huh? 
We know the women love us. We talking about the men. <laughs> we definitely know the women love us. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right, y'all got something? You gonna deal with her eyes? <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> nah, but hey, man, it is what it is. We are here to tell our people who they are, man, according to the Bible, and they gotta repent, man. And for y'all, we do have a judgment for y'all, but we don't always give y'all y'all judgment, even though we should be giving y'all y'all judgment since y'all here listening. So do you know that white, we know white and black is not in the Bible. You don't see those terms, but you see the term Edomite or Judah or uh, Israel. You see these terms. So what the world has did when they change it to faces, they also change the names also. That's why you got white, black. Why, why you gotta be white and we gotta be black? Because you're not white. Your blood show forth through your skin. That don't, you're not white. You're red. God. Hey, and that's just what it is, man. That's facts. And sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah, or peach. That's cool, too. But till you get to slapping on a white boy, and then he turns redder and redder, and he starts turning different colors, man, like a rainbow. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> All right. What I have you get? Malachi 1. Yeah. Hey, so look, back to what I was saying. You don't see the term white or black in the Bible. You see uh, the nation of Israel, like these. You see these names. They'll just mention colors and textures. Yeah, they're just, description. yeah, description, like the brother said. But we know who we are now, man. The Bible says in Malachi, the last book of the Bible, that the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, they will wake up to their true nationality. Y'all beat our nationality out of us for hundreds of years. And we still came back to our nationality. And it's not because of us. And it's not because of uh, what we've done. It's because the most I put his spirit on us to come back to our nationality, man. It's nothing you can do. Y'all spend billions of dollars to keep us away from who we really are, man. That's what the education system is about. Y'all teaching y'all history and excluding ours. If y'all allow us to go to y'all schools, why don't y'all teach us our history also? Y'all rule the planet. Oh, you definitely know the history. Well, that's why I'm standing here. I don't know what y'all are talking about. That's cool. I don't I haven't gone to church enough to even hear somebody else's version. I'm just in it for the knowledge. Right. So that's a that's another reason why we are here, man. To we uh, wake up our people and to tell you who you are, man. Y'all be if you are, your father is a so-called white man, you will descend from the nation of Edom, Esau. Let's get that right quick. Being Jewish. How about you want to be Jewish? No, you want to be Jewish. I don't no. want to be Jewish. I am. You are Jewish. So what is? You, you got Jew, but what does ish mean? Like if I say if I say this is tannish, is it tan? No, it's not. So if you say you Jewish, you're like a Jew, you're not a Jew. The real Jews are the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, man. God. They just don't know who they are, man. That's why you call yourself Jewish. Get Revelations 2 and 9 and get Revelations 3 and 9. Let's see. Because the last book of the Bible, for the last days, he gave us scriptures to show Jewish people. Go ahead. This is Revelation 3 and 9. Bring it yeah. first. Okay. Yeah, 2 and 9 first. This is Revelation 2 verse 9. Bring it out. I know thy works and thy tribula and tribulation and poverty. But so he says, I know your works and tribulation and poverty. Those Jewish people over there in poverty, they own the diamond district. They own Hollywood and their entertainment business. They own everything. So he's clearly not talking to them. Let's see who he's talking to. Go ahead. But they are rich, and I know the blasphemy, blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. We didn't ever call ourselves Jews. We just now calling ourselves Jews. You just now seeing us. Why? Because y'all had us in captivity hundreds of years. So it couldn't have been us calling ourselves Jews. It's speaking about the men that's over there in Israel right now. Hey, and to speak on that, they're not even supposed to be in war. Why did, why is uh, Iran and Israel fighting right now? It says when the Jews return to their homeland, there will be no more wars. But there's wars over there right now. They just dropped a bomb on, Iran just dropped a bomb on Israel just now. A couple days ago. Fighting over property. Huh? It's fighting over properties. No, everybody's fighting over that land, but they not going to get it. We getting it. Come That's on. our land. Man. And the Lord is preparing it. He's going to wipe everybody out that land, and he's going to bring us back to our homeland, man. Thus says the Bible. That's just what it is, man. And that's what it say. So be ready to go back to your homeland, brother. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. 
So the most high God said, these people that say that they are Jews, they are the synagogue of Satan. Oh. And look at the world. Who's in control of the earth? We just read that. The wicked are in control of the earth, right? And these are the people that control the earth, the wicked elite. Did you know that America can be bought? Do you know who owns America now? The wicked elite. The, the uh, Amenhammers and the uh, Rothschilds and the Bushes. These are the wicked elite of the world who controls the whole entire planet, man. Your people. Whether you want to accept that or not, these are your people. And you can say, well, that's not me. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm right here with you. That doesn't matter to God because there was righteous people in the Bible that still went into slavery. Oh. Jeremiah was a righteous man. Ezekiel was a righteous man, but they still went into slavery. You have to still go into slavery. You and your children, believe it or not, for what the wicked elite have done. So blame them at the end of the day. Now let's get three and nine. This is Revelation three and nine. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which they are, which say they are Jews. And are not. So this is another account in Revelations. It says the same thing to a non is in. He's reiterating this twice. Go ahead. I'm going to start from the beginning. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. So he says, this is God saying, he said, I'm going to make them the synagogue of Satan. I'm going to make them as wicked as they are. So this is all God's plan. Go ahead. We say they are Jews and are not, right. but do lie. But do lie. You not no damn Jew. You should have never said that, honestly. I ain't lying to you. Because you are the main partakers in us being in cargo slave ships coming to her to the Americas. Bring it out. You financed the, the lumber, the wood to build the boat to bring us over here, man. God. Y'all bought the lumber and the wood from the um, the Arabians, man. <laughs> Y'all the main partakers. You should have never said that, bro. This judgment is for you. Go ahead. Behold. I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Oh, read that again. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So the Most High God said in these last days, you Jewish people, hey, so-called white people in the, hey, as a nation are going to come worship before our feet pretty soon, man. The Bible says it's going to happen. But should everybody not worship before God's feet? Read it. Read, read it. It's cool. Read it again. Your question That's in why we're listening. Yeah, we don't get your, we don't get your question. Go ahead. Revelations 3 and 9. Bring it out. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Before thy feet. You serve God by serving us. That's factual. That's what the Bible says. That's how you serve God, by serving us. Did you know that you was created to serve us? Go to uh, Psalms 2 and 8. You was literally created. All you, if you're not descended from black, Hispanic, and native, you was created to serve the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, man. That's factual. Even these damn police officers, man, they was created to serve us. But they do whatever they want to us. Why? Because the wicked is in control of the earth right now, man. We're not afraid no more. We ain't afraid of the police. We ain't afraid of y'all whipping our backs no more. We ain't afraid of none of that no more. We proclaiming war through the Bible. The Bible is proclaiming war. So y'all better be ready, man. Bring it out. Go ahead. All right. This is Psalms 2 and 8. So he's talking to the Israelites in Psalms, the second chapter, man. He's speaking to the 12 tribes that you see on this sign, man. Go ahead. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So the Lord says, ask of him. And he's going to give uh, he's going to give us you guys as a possession as an inheritance you're going to serve us and you're definitely going to serve us in the kingdom definitely y'all going to build up all our walls y'all going to build up everything that y'all destroyed everything believe that man what do you mean there is no such thing as mixed you are what your father is that's why i asked him that your grandkids got a chance. You don't. God. Because you are. You, do you descend from one of these tribes right here? Do any of y'all looking descend from any of these tribes, man? Because if you don't, you have. Huh? Hey, you Indian Cherokee, right? No. <laughs> Apache? Probably. What you talking about, probably? Oh, you, you plan? So you don't descend from none of these tribes? 
don't know your background. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Get Isaiah 14 right quick, man. Hey, believe it or not, man, we ready. We ready for this, man. That's why we out here boldly proclaiming the judgment on what's come, what's to come. Okay, so you let me get this straight. Hold on, let me get this straight. Y'all want y'all kingdom built up by the backs, blood, sweat, and tears of us. But then when it's built up, it's why can't we all get along? Mm. No, we want slaves, man. And that's just what it is. Let's get that. Revelation 13 and 10. Let's just prove it, man. Get uh, Exodus 21 and 16 also, man. And I still want that Ezekiel 35. We're going to end it off on that, man. This is Revelations 13 and 9. I'm going to read down to 10. Listen to this, though. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Do you have an ear? Listen. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. What book is that, Ock? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. You know what Revelation mean? It means the apocalypse. The last days. This ain't came to pass yet. It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So if you're not on this sign, you're going into slavery, man. And don't, and don't worry, it's not just the whites. The Chinese man is going into slavery. The Arabian man is going into slavery. The stinking ass African is going into slavery. All of these different nations are going into slavery under the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, man. And y'all don't have to believe it. We don't want you to believe it. The element of surprise is the best surprise. Go ahead, though. Read it one more time for it. This is Revelation 13 and 10. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Hey, so why is the Bible said that the saints will be patiently waiting for this? We're patient. You think we just, we just some niggas out here, right? We definitely follow this Bible to a T because we want slaves. Y'all went into, we went into slavery under y'all. We got our backs whipped, 30 lashes, 100 lashes, castrated. We was beat the hell out of. So what you think got to happen to you? Y'all thought God just forgot about that? No, he prophesied it in the Bible. Y'all have to go into captivity. Y'all have to go into slavery for what y'all did, you and your children. That's just what it is. So you need to be building them up for them to be strong. Because we're going to need them climbing trees and getting apples and so forth. Ah! Go ahead, get this. Let's get another account, though. Go ahead. This is Exodus 21, verse 16. Bring it out. And he that stealeth the man. He that stealeth the man. Was we not stolen from the west coast of Africa? Yes, we did. Let's get an account before we continue. All right, so look, check this. This is an actual history account. Go ahead. It says, when they were almost exterminated there's when, it's when the natives the hispanic and the natives was almost exterminated guess what y'all went and did read it their spanish masters began to import negro slaves from africa to work on the plantations and in the gold mine whoa Please. so when y'all was almost exterminating the natives y'all was like we need more slaves let's go to west africa and get them Bring and that's exactly having no idea that you touched the apple of god's eye Come you had no idea man that's why we out here boldly telling y'all, man, y'all going into slavery. You see all these white people having fun, they enjoying their day? Well, y'all better live it up, man. Y'all better enjoy it because pretty soon it's coming down and y'all coming with us, man. Get that in Isaiah 14 right quick. But let's finish this right quick. Exodus 21, verse 16. Bring it out. And he that stealeth the man. And he that stealeth the man. And selleth him. And you sold us. Or if he be found in his hand. And we still here in America today. Go ahead. He shall surely be put to death. He shall surely be put to death, man. Some of y'all gonna die, and some of y'all gotta go with us to captivity, man. It depends on how we feeling. Hey, that, and let's get the account. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is these people you see. We come from Jacob. That's our forefather. The white man forefather is Esau, uh, Esau Edom, Idumia. We come from Jacob, which make Jacob name was changed to Israel because he was the beginning of this nation. Go ahead. And will and will yet choose Israel, right? And set them in their own land. So these people on this sign right here, God said He's going to take them and put them back in their homeland, which you think is Africa, but our homeland is actually Israel. 
what the whole world fights to get. But like I said earlier, they're not going to get it because it's our homeland. And the Lord is going to place us back in our homeland. Read it again, I. Right. And the Lord, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob right. and will yet choose Israel. I right. get ready for slavery. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. Yeah. And the stranger shall be joined with them. It says the stranger shall be joined with them. You are the strangers, you and your children, whether you want to go forcefully or willingly. And it's, it's prophesied in the Bible that we're going to put you in pits. We're going to gather you all up from the, Amer the whole Americas and the four corners of the earth. We're going to put you in pits until we have enough of you. Then we're going to take y'all home. And y'all going to be servants and handmaids. And the one that rebelled, we just read, you got to die, man. That's just what it is. That's prophecy in the Bible. That's something your church will never bring out. We reading it, ain't we? These things haven't came to pass yet. When? Where? How? That's what we are here to prophesy to the people, whether they listen or whether they don't. Go ahead, I and the stranger shall be joined with them right. and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. So some of them are gonna go willingly. That's what cleaving is, grabbing their arm, cleaving to them, go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right. Israel. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaidens. Hey, there you go. We're going to possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, whether y'all believe it or not. Your biggest gun ain't going to save you, man. Your big shotgun or uh, 50 caliber rifle not going to save you, man. Through the spirit of the Lord, we are coming to round up all heathen nations, man. And you're going into captivity whether you want to or not. America's military structure is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Y'all are accepting homos in y'all military. Y'all accepting transgenders in y'all military? So weak, man. Y'all have no idea, man. Go ahead, though. The only thing that's keeping y'all from actually being ruined as of now is that big bomb that y'all have, man. That'll blow up the whole state of Texas, man, that other nations are afraid of. But you have no idea that thermonuclear destruction is in the Bible and America is going out with thermonuclear destruction, man. God! You think these other nations, they're aiming their rockets at... They're aiming their rockets here at America. All of thousands of rockets are aimed towards America. Babylon the Great, that's prophesied in Revelation. Every kingdom, every great kingdom is prophesied in the Bible. But you tell me that America isn't? No, America is definitely prophesied in the Bible also. But go ahead. Right, let's, keep, let's continue, man. Hey, so get ready for slavery, man. Go ahead. It says, And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaidens. Right. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Hey, didn't we just read that? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It says we're gonna take them captives, whose captives we were. Who is we captivity under? Let's be honest. For once, let's be honest. You don't have to worry about that picture. You got far more greater things to worry about, man. So who do we go into captivity under? It don't matter which one. I asked you, who did we go under captivity under? Was it the white man or no, man? You making it harder than what it is. Which is the white man? Yes, they are white people. You see those Mexicans right there? It proves that they've been conquered because you, they, get, they have your names. Juan, Pablo, Hector, those are not their names. They have names like Monta, Moctezuma. That's what those names was before you conquered them. The Moctezuma Empire. The Moctezuma Aztec Empire was their kingdom before you came and messed it up, man. You got it. Hey, some of these brothers, we have Hispanic brothers, so-called Hispanic brothers, who actually know who they are, and they're ready to put y'all in captivity too by the way y'all do they people at the border, man. God! Hey, dude, it's, it's, that's a miracle, the fact that everything that y'all done to us, we get to get y'all back, man. God. And it's going to be glorious. Get that at First Thessalonians. Hey, teach your kids how to be strong, man. Conquer thy child, man. So they can go into captivity. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Well, it says we're going to rule over your oppressors. Let's get an account of who the world calls Jesus, right? Jesus is all love, isn't he? Is Jesus all love? 
Do y'all believe Jesus is our love? Uh, go to Revelations 2 and 26 right quick. All right, hold on one second. Revelations 2 and 26. Hey, they can't save you just because you think they Hispanic or native. They can't save we. I see what you're doing. They can't say us why you laughing. They can't save you because all of our people ain't going to come back. They got to go too. That's just what it is. Nothing can save you from the words of the Bible. God. Go ahead. This is revelation. You can try to go cleave to a Negro, Hispanic. Nothing is going to save you, though, man. And I think your husband gets it. Go ahead. This is Revelation 2, verse 26. Bring it out. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Hey, so what color is these these letters? Red. So which means what? Christ. The word of God. It was, read, it was spoken of by Jesus himself. This is what Jesus himself said in the last book of the Bible, the Apocalypse. Go ahead. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Right. To him... Will I give power over the nations? Why would he say that? He's going to give power over the nations. When I got power, I do whatever the hell I want with the nations. Well, let's get some more. Go ahead. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. A rod of iron. We're going to rule these nations with a rod of iron, man. Go ahead. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, right. even as I received of my father. So it says we're going to break out. Like how y'all broke us? Like how y'all broke the blacks, Hispanics, and native spirit? We're going to break y'all's too, man. We're going to break your spirit, believe it or not. Cleave to whoever you want to. <laughs> Go bring out what you got. This is Joel chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it out. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. So this is the most high guy. He's prophesying. He's prophesying through Joel. He says he's going to sell your sons and your daughters for the for the tribes of Judah. Look who Judah is so happened to be. The Negroes. Hey, hey, we're going to be buying the hell out of you, man. We're going to be buying you. Hey, and it's going to be dirt cheap because we're going to rule everything anyway. So it's going to be it's not going to be like how today is where we can't afford it. We definitely going to be able to afford your children. And you remember how they used to pull our children away from the mother? The mother screaming for the children, the children screaming for the mother? That's what's going to happen to you, man. Go watch 12 years of slavery. Go watch Roots. Those same events is going to happen to you, too. He says, as thou hast done it to my chosen, it so shall it be done to you. That's just what it is, man. Go ahead. This is Joel, chapter 3, and verse 8. Bring it out. And I will sell your sons. And your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. Right. And they shall sell them to, to the Sabines, right. to a people far off. Right. For the Lord has spoken it. When the Lord say the Lord has spoken it, he means business. That means try him. He's going to show you that he means business, man. So y'all be ready for that, man. Go ahead. I got a pre, uh, quick precept to show you who the Most High God is. This is Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the Most High God is a man of war. Right? He means business. Read that again, though. It says, Exodus 15 and 3. Bring it out! For the Lord is a man of war. Right? The Lord is his name. So the Lord is a man of war. You've been seeing wars from all the way from the book of Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. Man. The Lord is in control of these wars, man. So when, people, so when people say that he's all about love, he is about love to his people. He shows war. He brings battle. He kills. Right? That's what he, he does in the Bible. All throughout the Bible, there's war. So he tells you he's a man of war. Right? He's about destruction. And he's just. And he's fair. Right? And it's fair when it comes to being, uh, when what happened to his children, being repaid to those who did that to his children. That's love. That's fair. That's just. Hey, we're not holding y'all here. Y'all more than welcome to go. Oh, no. We, we really. I see you trying to run off. He listened. I was listening. I was. I still am. Out loud. This is Isaiah 45 verse 7. Bring right? it out. Listen to this. You, do you believe, do y'all believe that God is all love? I, Not from I what you just heard, huh? Different view of all of it. Different view of all of it? Hey man, I like you, man. You a humble dude. Bro, that's good that you're listening and you're not trying to rebuttal or rebuke what the Bible says. Because God tells you to be quiet when the Bible is coming. You're doing a good job at it. Nope. But go ahead, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. 
I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord said, I do all these things. He kill, make alive, he make peace and war. So if you don't have peace in your life, guess who's doing it? The Lord is doing it. Causing chaos. Causing chaos. And you about to see so much chaos. Hey, have y'all ever went days without eating? Weeks? You know that's coming to a place near you, right? You know, how, you know how white people, they go today, they come out here and they have a good time, but then they go back to their suburban area. All that stuff is coming to a stop. They're going to be peasants walking around here just like the rest of the peasants out here. Right? Okay, second Thessalonians. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 1, verse 6. Yeah. Now, seeing it is a righteous thing with God. So it's a righteous thing. It's a just thing with God. We can go all day proving y'all judgment. <laughs> it's all throughout the whole entire Bible, y'all judgment. We can stay in the Old Testament. We can stay in the New Testament. Y'all going into slavery regardless, though. And that's why they y'all everywhere trying to listen from afar off. Because y'all never heard nothing like this. Y'all never heard it from people who y'all had who y'all had under y'all feet coming back to tell y'all that y'all gotta go into slavery. Y'all never heard that before. We still got y'all's last name. Like we still got your Thompson. Who the hell is Thompson? I don't know. It sound like a German though. Foul. That's funny. Still there you are, Captain. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation. To them that, that trouble you. Y'all trouble us every day. I look in the rear view mirror every time I get in my truck. Wondering if I'm going to get pulled off. Wondering if I'm going to get the next minute. Bring it out. Y'all the ones who are troubling us. Man. It all resorts back to y'all. It's all about whites and black. Jacob and Esau. That's what it's all about, man. Chinese man, Arabian man, African. They're all extras in, the, in God's movie. It's all about us and y'all. The biggest war on earth is the blacks and the, and the old whites, man. It's all about now it's us turn to give y'all y'all judgment let's get that go to ezekiel 35 right quick look at ezekiel chapter 35 and verse start at one and then get to 13. verse one moreover the words of the lord came unto me saying son of man set thy face against mount seer you will be considered mount seer you have many different names you have mount seer you have idumia you have esau those are your biblical names. Not what the world hit a wicked. Not what the world calls it. We're talking about what God calls you in the Bible. And I can show you. I can show you it, your exact description in the Bible. And when you was called Esau, why you was called Esau, and what Esau means. It ain't just no niggas, man. We really bringing out the judgment of God. So Mount Seir, let's get there right quick. Go to Genesis 36 and 1. Let's prove that they are Mount Seir also. Yeah. This is Genesis 36, verse 1. Bring it out. Now, these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Verse 9. And hey, these are that? the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. The father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. So read that again. All right. Exodus 15 and 1. Moreover, out. the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So that's what we are here to do. We are here to prophesy to you white people, man. Which we know you're not white, you red. Your blood show forth through your skin. You're not white, white is pure. You're not pure, nothing pure about you. And to any other nation that's been conquered by them and decides to be around them, that is disgusting, man. You are, you are, Pathetic to your own people who died for you. But keep going though, all right? All right. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, right. Behold, O Mount Seir, right. I am against thee, right. and I will stretch out my hand against thee. There you go. This is the Lord speaking. He said he going to stretch out his hand against thee. Right. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This is Obadiah 1 and 15. Bring it out. out. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. All the As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. So if you're not on this tribe, you will be considered a heathen. He says his day is upon all the heathen. Especially, y'all uh, are the chief adversary. All these white people out here are the chief adversary of God, whether they believe it or not. They believe on Ayus Christos or Jesus Christos. 
Not even knowing that means hell Zeus. Y'all have y'all God. We don't serve that God though. We serve the God of the Bible, the true and living God, the God of Abraham, Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Well, go ahead, I. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Right? I'm going to jump down to verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Right? And the house of Joseph a flame. Right? And the house of Esau for a stove. So it says, read that part again. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Right? And the house of Joseph a flame. So Jacob will be these three tribes. Up. These three tribes are considered the Negroes. On down is the Hispanics and the, the brothers that's in Central and South America. This is what we're talking about, Jacob and Joseph. We descend from those men. Go ahead, though. And the house of Esau for a stubble. You're going to be stubble. You know what fire does to stubble? It destroys it, right? I was going to say cleanses. Cleanse? What the? <laughs> I see you trying to forest. wiggle yourself no, in no, no. there. No, no, when the fire would burn down the forest, it only grows stronger because it's fertile. Well, so it's not in this case. Hey, hey. So you pull up that stubble. From the root, yeah. This is what this going into. Right. It says, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. All right. So look, continue now. Drop down to verse thirteen. I just want to show you two more scriptures, and y'all can go. Uh, Exodus, uh, Ezekiel 30, 35 and thirteen. Bring it out. Thus with my your mouth ye have boasted against me right. and have multiplied your words against me. So this most I'm talking to y'all. He says you boasted your, with your mouth and boasted against him. Hey, and there's one thing what it says, uh, blessed be the good Lord God for I am rich. You touched the apple of his eye, man, by putting us in captivity. But go ahead. I have heard them. Thus said the Lord God, when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. He said one other, but he's like, oh, no, I'm, 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 God. <laughs> but Can I hear that again? Huh? Can I hear that again? God. Thus said the Lord God, when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. Right? He's talking to the Edomites because the rest of the world, the Chinese man, the Russian man, they all know who we are. They know who we are. That's why America pays uh, those uh, Jewish rats over there billions of dollars not to say nothing to us about us being uh, Israelites, man. They want to tell us who we are, but America pays them billions of dollars to keep them closed, man. But it's already prophesied that they was going to tell us, man. They already telling us. Go look at the videos. They made books. They made some books, too. 13, what is it, 13 uh, Tribe or something like that. It was just, uh, it was, uh, uh, hey, you got this book Jews, also. You know what I'm talking about? It tells you right here in this book who the real Jews are. Okay, I'm going to walk right here. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just walking right there. I don't I'm care what you I'm do. I'm still listening. Go ahead, I'm still listening. Amos chapter 1 and verse 9. Bring it out. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrus and for four, right. I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. Like you said, the Africans, you said, you said they didn't get stolen or sold. This is going into the Africans selling us to the Jewish people. So the Africans literally like the Congolese and the Somalians. They're not on your list. Hell no, we ain't no Africans. Not them. Y'all told us we was Africans. No, but now we know who we are. We come from the 12 tribes of Israel, if y'all ain't know. And we come back to claim what's ours. Go ahead. And remember not the brotherly covenant. Right. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Thus says the Lord, with three transgressions of Edom and before, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword. In cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually and kept his wrath forever. Y'all are still punishing us. Y'all are still killing us. Y'all are still shooting us down in the streets of dogs to this day. That work, therefore, the Lord will not turn away the punishment that y'all got coming to you. Hey, if we still found in your hands like we just read in Exodus 21. We still in your hands, man. Y'all should have let us go. But y'all didn't y'all not gonna let us go. You can say, well, y'all can go. But the elite's not saying that. So why you think they got uh, passports? When a passport expires, guess what? They send you to the American embassy, and the American embassy sends you back to America. We are slaves still. Man. Okay. And another big uh, uh, sign, it says, uh, 
like y'all, y'all was saying, oh, y'all can be rich too. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. There's freedom here in America. But the big sign that we're still in y'all hands is our last name. Our last name, our whole family tree, last name. We've lost our identity. Uh, even dealing with the last name. So when you get a birth certificate, it goes to the D.C. District of Columbia. They get paid for our na well, y'all names, but it's on us, just like we are Calvin. So that lets you know even more, we still in captivity. Hey, and it's not, yeah, we know it's not y'all, but we're waging war. We can't get to the bushes and we can't get to those people. So we wage war by telling y'all, y'all just, y'all gonna take it to the next person that got money, and the next person is gonna carry through, and it's gonna end up and they gonna hear it. Well, then we gonna be like, hey, what's up? What's that happening? That's what it is. Bring that out though. This is Ezekiel 25, verse 13. Bring it out. Verse 12. Thus says the Lord God, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah. So who is Edom? She gets Ooh, it. She get it. She gets it. it ain't I'm on not side. you, man. Yeah, because you ain't on that, oh, man. It ain't on that. Stop looking. Side. You definitely oh, ain't on there. She got it. You are Edom. I got to hear it a couple times for him. What you mean? I wasn't. I guess I don't know. You want to you wanna see who, how you're eating? Sure. Right. Tell me. Right. I'm no, we're gonna knowledge. read it That's for you. All, I'm here for it's not the all right. Go to, go to Genesis 25. Right? All right. This is Genesis 25 and 25. Bring it out. And the first came out red, all over. All right. all right. all right. all right. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are. In, uh, so this is the birth of the so-called white people. Because you know white is, is a sign of leprosy, right? We're supposed to stay away from y'all because we are defiled being around y'all. White is a sign of leprosy. When the priest... Science. Huh? That defies science. Right, the sun chews y'all skin up? No, the location where our ancestors come from. So you say science, but what what's what's over science? The word of God or science? I mean, the word of God is, like but because it gives a description, it gives a description in the Bible of what leprosy is. Now, the scientists went and changed what leprosy was. The Bible gives a description of what leprosy is. So, what the Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. So, who do you choose to believe, science or God? Right? So, all right, I'm going I'm to read this. This is Genesis 25 and 23. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are within their womb, within my, thy womb. So there was two different people in the same mother, right? Came from the same father. Two nations. It says, and two manner of people, meaning different in every way. The way that you act, the way that you walk, the way that you talk, the way that you dance, the way that you move. Two manner of people. It says, and sells. It says, and shall be separated from thy vow, and one shall be stronger than the other. It's like other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. It's gonna, it's gonna explain who the elder was. Remember, the elder shall serve the younger. It says, and when her days be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. And he and they and they called him his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. Because even when you go back to the ancient world, y'all used to be hairy people. Y'all do stuff like certain medicines and certain foods to make it where y'all hair don't grow like that. To try to hide, hide y'all description. Or mix Check, not look at technology. Or yeah, mix. Because when you go to Genesis 36, they was definitely mixing it. Even with the Africans, they was mixing with all kinds of nations to try to hide their identity. You can't hide your identity though. That, 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 pig, that non pigmentation is a big sign that you're right. We're going to give you something for you to go prove in history. Yeah. This is Genesis chapter 36 and verse 1. Now, these are the generations of Esau, who is the Edom, right? And I'm going to jump down to 15. Remember this word. These were the Dukes. You know who the Dukes are? Like Bow and Duke? Yes. <laughs> So you yes. got uh, Confederate rednecks. Charles, uh, Charles Edward the third, the Dukes of the world. Oh, 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 Dukes, oh, the Dukes. Okay. Okay. Charles, Landowners, such. Yeah. Okay. 
So then it says that they are Esau. So go look it up and it's going to show you who those generations are in the Bible. That'll let you know that we're not even making this up. Historically, you can go find this. And then you can go back to Genesis 36 and 15 and prove who the dukes are. That'll let you know we're not making this up. Historically, oh, we definitely, we definitely ain't making it, it up. We need even more proof for you to go study on your own. Like, man, what, what are they telling you to? Go prove right, you can go watch the video. And examine it. Go watch the video. Oh, so, yo, 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 slavery is on the line. Yeah, your punishment is on the line. Now go back to Genesis 25, though, because I want to 25 and 25. Because I want to show you something else, too. Not only did they say that they was hairy, they said they was red all over. Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. So not only that you was hairy, he said that you was red. And when you see a, hey, I know you got white babies. When the white baby come out, it's red because of all the crying. Like if I was to smack you right now, you're gonna turn red. If you was to start screaming right now, you're gonna turn red. That's facts, man. Yeah. And when a baby is crying, they're red. They turn redder and redder and redder. That's why it says he was red all over. I, uh, Isaac was looking like, what the hell is this? And he called him Esau. Honestly, honestly, I, I could Which show Which is you. the wicked. You can look at all of our arms right now. Look at your arms, you can tell you're hairy than all of them. Yes, you're way yeah. more hairy. Way more. Just, just keeping it real. Hey, so look, from there, let's get this last scripture for him. Ezekiel 35 and 20, uh, 12. So we know it's talking about you are Esau, you are Edom, you are Adumia, you are Mount Seir. The Most High God, do you think the Most High God loves the, you as a nation? Do you think he loves even some of you? He like, I don't even know no more. <laughs> Damn, it's all good though, well it ain't, but hey. I got suffer as a people 35 and uh, 12. This is Ezekiel, 35 verse 12. Hold on, get out. This is Ezekiel 25. You want to do this? Yeah, 12. Uh, Verse 12, yeah. thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged itself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. So the Lord God said he's going to stretch out his hand upon you. We just showed you Edom. He said he's going to stretch out his hand upon you. That's not good. Go ahead, though. And we'll huh? cut off yeah, man ahead. and beast from it. He said he even gonna kill your animals. Go ahead. And I will make you desolate right? from Timon, and they of the dying shall fall by the sword. Those are uh, places, those are, those are places that's in Edom. If you go look at it, Timon and Dedon, it's giving you like from the top to the bottom, basically. I'm gonna I'm jack all y'all up, go ahead. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So these people on this side, read it again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by, by the hand of my, my people Israel. Israel. And Israel. they shall do in Edom according, according to mine anger. So whatever happens to y'all as a nation, it's according to the Lord's anger. The Lord is going to put the spirit in us to jack y'all up, man. Uh. And we ready. That's how you know the spirit is already being implanted in us. Because we ready, man. I'm talking to you right now, but when it's time to go, it's over for you, bro. That's just facts. We can't do nothing right now, but we definitely going to know when the Lord give us that green go. Uh, is that what you want? Bias yes! And anger and Yo, you call it that. You call it that. You call it that because you don't want that to happen on you. Well, I don't want it to happen to anybody. Oh. It ain't even about me. So what do you, let me ask you this since you say that. What do you do for us to help us when well, we don't get that? I supplied the telephone service. That's it, huh? That's it. And I used to deliver FedEx packages. I'm a simple person. A simple person, huh? That's you know it. that don't matter to God, right? Well, Jeremiah was in captivity. Ezekiel was in captivity. Isaiah was in captivity. They was, they was his prophets. Yeah. But they were still in slavery. You still got to go into slavery no matter how good you think you are. He got to go into slavery. His wife, them behind him, they all got to go into slavery. Yeah. It's not just you and your wife and kids, bro. And you don't always have to, you don't always have to get your, your back with, man. As long as you be a good slave, you'll be all right, man. Bro, we're not sitting here telling you that there can't be something for you. But as you ruling, you actually having dominion and rulership, that's not happening. You gonna do what we tell you to do. We out here boldly saying that according to the Bible. You gonna do what we tell you to do. And if you don't, then it's gonna be bad for you. 
you give us them smirks and all that, then it's gonna be bad for you. Giving you a smirk, I'm just here to listen. Like, yeah, yeah. like if we tell you to do something, I'm like, man. Oh. 30 lessons! <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead, though, finish that. Nah, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, even, you know, when we was slaves, babies were born into slavery. So they, they was innocent babies. So you might be innocent, but babies were innocent. They was born into slaves. They got took from their parents. They got beat, raped, robbed, murdered. Everything, so. Y'all did it as a sport. Y'all used to throw our babies to alligators. So the gators can come in and say y'all can kill the gators and make boots. And belts. Out of our babies. For Take real? We feel. Now, you know that, that game where you throw the ball and you hit the thing and the person drop in the water? Dunk Those used to be alligators. When you hit it, he drop in there and it, them alligators gonna devour that black man. Or his baby. You think you ain't gotta pay for that, bruh? Let's be real. You definitely have to pay for it. So we advise you, we want you to go tell what you heard from us, man. And we want you to bring them to us so we can tell them they judge them. Because we know these people listen. They listen to men that has order, black men that has order up here, so-called black men. That scares them. It scares the hell out of them that we have order after all the trials and tribulations, slavery, not being able to read and all of that. And we can come back bold in your face to tell you it's your turn to go into slavery. It's gonna be horrible, man. I ain't even gonna stunt and act like it's not. It's gonna be horrible. Finish that. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So you guys, y'all Hispanic? Y'all see yourself on the sign at the bottom? Mexican, is that you? So it says God gonna use you to crush all white people, all Chinese people, all Arabian people. Would you be down for something like that? No? You think God loves everyone? <laughs> So why is he saying that then? Read it again. And I will lay my vengeance upon vengeance? Edom. Do y'all know what vengeance is? Look it up for him right quick. They young. Look up vengeance for him, Marcus. Let's show y'all what vengeance is. Let's show y'all what vengeance is. Let's get the definition of vengeance. Hey, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. They got your people at the border, man. They using aluminum foil for blankets, man. They, they barely feeding you. They doing this to your people. And no, you might look at him and be like, well, it's not him, it's his people. Vengeance. It means punishment inflicted or retribution exacted for an injury or a wrong. Right? Or a wrong. Because they did us wrong. The Hispanics, the natives, and the Negroes. They did us wrong. So it says a payback. So read that again, I'm 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. The payback upon the white man. Go By ahead. the hand of my people Israel. You will be God's people, Israel. You come from the 12 tribes of Israel, that's why we had his son. You Mexican, you come from the tribes of Israel, man. God's chosen people. God has favor to you. Right? You gotta understand that, man. We the same people. We came, you know how Negroes got here? Do y'all know? Y'all ever heard about Negroes coming over on slave ships? Right? You know about that? But y'all went on slave ships too. Y'all went to Spain. That's why you call yourself Spanish. When that's in Europe, man, that's a European country. But you're not European. Go ahead, though. And they shall do it, Edom, according to my anger, right? And according to my fury, right? And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. They're gonna know the most high God's vengeance by what we do to them. What we as a people, everybody on this side, what we do to the white man, the Chinese man, the Arabian man, they gonna know God's anger. That's just what's written, man. That's what it is. You can't run from judgment, man. You can go cleave, you can go find you another doctrine to believe. You can go find you feel good scriptures in the Bible to try to fit your doctrine. But the Bible, it says what it says, man. We went to like, how many different books? Like 15 different books to prove, yo, you have a judgment coming. Bro, you can't run away from that. It'd be one thing if we just read you one scripture and be like, yeah, that's what God said. No, we went to almost every book in the Bible to prove that every prophet, he gave them a judgment for you as a people. But get that. Yeah, I want you to get that. This is Isaiah 14 to 21. Bring it out. Prepare slaughter for his children, right? For the iniquity of their fathers. Right, so you're not the ones who put these people in captivity. You not. Captivity was already, the hardcore bondage was already over with. So let's get this. The conquistadors, the Pueblos, and the Spaniards, those are your forefathers. That's who really put our forefathers in captivity. So when it's speaking right here as a prophecy, a future prophecy, read it again. 
prepare a slaughter for his children. And that's what we're doing. We prepare a slaughter for you and your children. That's what it is, man. Blood, blood shall pursue you, man. Blood is, blood is following you as a people, all y'all, man. And I've been seeing y'all walk by, y'all laughing, and y'all act like it's not gonna happen, but it's definitely gonna happen. It's, it don't matter. Y'all got little babies. It don't oh, elderly parents. That don't matter. We coming for all y'all. God. Right, read that again. Prepare slaughter for his children, but the iniquity of their fathers, right? That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of his fathers. This is what it is. Hey, so can I ask y'all a question? You looking at it, do you see yourself on this side? Oh, dang, it's like that? Dang. Hey, King, King, come here right quick, man. Let me ask you a question. You on a mission, man. We talking about the Bible, though. Smiley, smiley, smiley. Hey, so who are you if you with us? If you with us, who are you? Come all at us, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he coming, now you can do it. Yeah, you over here. I know it is. Let's just holler at you one real quick time. This is in the Bible, bro. Boom. See, Judah, Negroes. We Negroes. So called black, right? These are the children of God. Every one of these in the Bible and they went into some type of captivity. We didn't, you know, black man, we didn't get been over in captivity. The Af African sold us to the white man. We didn't came over, been in captivity, been in captivity since we've been here. We're still in captivity. Your name, my name, is not our names from, from our, our uh, slaveholders, right? Mm -hmm. But since we done been in these captivities and we still been oppressed, the Most High is going to come take us out of this captivity. Mm -hmm. The way he's going to take us out, though, we come back to the commandments of God, which is in his Bible. See, we read the Bible and they tell us love, love, love. They tell us, oh, you can just have faith and forgive, and, and that's all. But when we really went and studied this Bible, we, we've been studying it. Yeah. Studying this Bible is telling us that we must do what God told us to do, and that's serve His commandments, His laws. That's right. Which the, the Christians ain't telling us to keep no law. They just telling us to believe, believe, believe. And that's why you got me and you. We fell into game bank. We didn't have no father. The streets had to raise us. We had to go get money and had to get it the hard way. Why? Because we didn't know nothing about these laws. Uh -huh. We didn't know nothing about these laws. Now that we coming back into understanding and finding these laws, He taking us about that world. That unconsciousness we had, we was in that dark world. We coming out. We coming to see what's going on. As we see what's going on, we come back to these laws. As soon as we come back to these laws, we'll stop being oppressed and we'll come back as kings. God! Hey, but if we, hey, I'm trying to get you to come back, Smiley. Hey. Praises! Hey, if One you day. see brothers down there at that corner, because I know you got to go. Hey, get a flyer from them, man. Come on. Yeah, good to see you, bro. Come on. Y'all be easy, man. Bro. You gotta come back to these laws of God. Gotta come back to the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High God, man. Well done, brother.